guys welcome to my channel how to make this image gallery using fancy box 3 okay so it's responsive and it's good looking and it's uh, free and you can also embed the video like this one okay so this is the fancy box 3 so how we can make okay this gallery here is the caption okay and you can change and it's uh, when you just click it here it's a uh, perfect okay you can select uh, like this one okay so this is the fancy box how we can make today we will see okay so let's get start i'm on a zamp st doc i want to create a project which is uh, fancy box 3 fancy box 3 okay inside i want to create a file which is index.html just drag and drop inside in your code editor i'm using netbean so it's open okay and just write some code it here html html close head section head section close head section close inside your title title tag title ends fancy box 3 okay and uh, inside the body body and body should be closed okay so this is the empty blank html file we need to add a fancy box from uh, library okay so just open your browser and type a fancy box like this one fancy box apps.com okay and you are the and version 2 is deprecated so version 3 is come so i'm using version 3 just click it here just download it here it's a downloaded just go to it here and extract it here okay so i have already ex extracted it here go to dist folder and two files we needed okay just copy it jquery uh, fancybox min.js and jquery fancybox min.js just copy it go to your project and just paste it so we need to some images as well so i have images on my project so this is the my project and this is images three images just copy it here and go to your project fancy box 3 and paste it here okay so we need to add some images img src okay and uh, assets okay inside the uh, okay have some images image 0 alt take okay and this is the image 0 control s for save just copy it here three times two times copy paste and paste this is uh, image 1 this is image 2 control s for save and this is 1 and this is 2 okay so this images is more big okay so i'm using the internal css style and style all the images should be a bit the 25 percent control s for save and now we need to run our file okay so local host and this is the fancy box 3 okay this is project fancy box 3 just f2 and just copy the name of the project and local host and after that you just paste it here okay so you can see three images when you click nothing happen it here like this one uh, i mean not like this one okay it's not like so this is the three images so we need to add a jquery okay and also we have downloaded this file so we need to link that so first we link to a jquery cdn jquery cdn okay just jquery cdn just copy it uh, i'm using 3.2.1 just click it here and just copy this link using cdn and paste it here okay and just remove uh, this one okay now this is not needed control s for save and now we need to our fancy box script okay and script close okay src and uh, src is uh, we want to add a uh, mean fancy box min.js file just and also we need to 
link href and uh, this is the file which is min.js okay and it's related to style sheet okay control s so all the files we have linked these two files also linked jquery linked okay images we have put it here okay and uh, okay just close it okay so need it here some uh, jquery code i mean javascript code so first uh, uh, load the dom okay dom is ready document document dot ready function call function function this one okay and put it semicolon okay so all three images we need to put in anchor tag so just a a tag okay a h r e f just close it uh, here and the path of image zero okay and just control okay just x and paste it here okay this is same like this one should be okay so we want to put some attribute it here okay for data caption data caption is image zero and also data hmm, data <coughs> data fancy box data fancy box box okay data fancy box is images so we images put images okay and likewise all of three just copy it here this is uh, other images and this one for third images so this is image one and uh, this is image one okay and this is image two and this is image two okay image two as well okay so data a caption zero this is one okay and this is two control s all the images we have linked image two all the images is here zero image one dot jpeg image one image zero image one image two okay so these are the file control s for save and now refresh the browser so when i click it here it's look like uh, image gallery okay okay it looks like image gallery okay okay you can see here okay so it's perfect so now we uh, need to control it okay this images so we can size it uh, it's a size and add some css and other stuff uh, we need to write some code so uh, we want to give it a uh, property which is uh, single quotation inside a bracket and uh, we have a data fancy box fancy box equal to images okay i mean this one uh, data fancy box just copy it here okay and paste it here okay uh, it here okay control s for save and call the method pen c box okay and semicolon control s for save and we can write some property to control it f5 to refresh okay we didn't put any property so we want to put a uh, property so first we need to embed uh, this video like this one after that we will add uh, some property okay so for that uh, we need to embed the video just put a h r e f okay and close it it here youtube video 
control s for save and here give up uh, i mean give a path of uh, i mean the uh, reference okay just click it here embed code just copy the video url okay copy the video url and paste it here Control s for save and this is the data fancy box video so just copy and paste it here and just put it here video Control s for save and uh, just replace the browser and click it here it's a it's just uh, it's a video has been started okay and you can see here okay if you want to control it so you can um, just copy it here okay and paste it here and this is for videos video control s i think video okay and uh, we want to add uh, some property so it's a type is iframe iframe okay and uh, iframe uh, iframe should uh, go like this one iframe add a css okay and uh, we want to width of iframe width is suppose we want to 600 pixel pixel control s for save and just control x and wrap it inside a single quotation okay control s for save okay and replace the browser and click it here it's a uh, 600 okay and uh, we want to a uh, 200 control s for save and refresh and just click it here so it's a 200 width okay so you can see here just close it just open it okay so 200 uh, uh, width of the iframe okay so you can make like this one this is the fancy box 3 tutorial okay so this is very easy to maintain to add some uh, links okay to embed okay iframe videos okay so if you uh, like this video please please subscribe to my channel